Okay, so here we are. We're just about to test the um, test this panel. Um, you should always test it before you encapsulate it with the silicon because once you've done that, you've got no way back, um, or at least it's very difficult to uh, recover from that point. So before we encapsulate, it, we're just going to test it. We've got 36 cells all hooked up in series um, to give us a closed circuit voltage of around about 18 volts. Um, we should expect a slightly higher voltage for open circuit when we're testing it with a multimeter. Um, so what we want to find now is that we've got a voltage of yeah of uh, 18 volts. So it's pretty cloudy at the moment, um, but the sun is out. Um, so the voltage is pretty stable over different light conditions. So no matter whether it's sunny, we should just get the same voltage reading. At the moment, I've got the multimeter set up on um, current output. I'm just going to move it around so you can see it. So, there we go. I don't know whether you can see that. It's reading um, 0.6 amps. You can see it increasing as the sun comes out more. The one's over there. You can see it's starting to get a bit bright. So, we've got 0.67 amps at the moment. Um, one full size cell um, should give us about 6 amps um, and these are probably about one sixth of a cell so maybe expect a sort of peak output of about 1 amp um, it's about 4 o'clock, half past 4 in Bristol so we're not going to get peak now so we've got about 0.62 so that feels about right um, so now I'm just going to change it on to our voltage reading, which is the all-important reading, really, um, to make sure we've got our 18 volts. And, yeah, so we've got a voltage of 20.8, which, open circuit, we should be expecting something slightly more than 18 volts. So, cells are working well, cells are working well the panel's working well, and we can now go and encapsulate it. And they're all going to look like this for the soda tree. Cool.